we're back. All right, as it currently stands, I'm like 50-50 on whether we make it through Act 3. I think my HP is going to slowly get chipped away at, unless I can kill enemies very quickly. And right now I cannot. The homing helps a ton though. These little, whatever, sprite things help a lot too. Just being able to eat six enemy projectiles. They get wasted a lot of the time, but who cares? They also help a few times. This thing, Guardian Sprite. It does things. It allows me to build up shield. Oh right, temporary shields work really well in this act. They do. We need this coin. Coin equals damage. We're up to 246% enhanced damage. Which kind of makes me hesitate to go to this shop, but there are good things we can get at this shop. What kind of good things? While holding this wand? No. While holding other wands. Oh, charge up could go wild. 90% mana cost. I already kind of do overkill damage, though. Shields? It's hard for me to value these. So I pay 0.5 per shield with the small one. More tracking. Right now, we have seven slots. This wand has nine slots. The cooldown's not great. Mimic Cube is pretty hard to pass up. This gives me a match. I can use this Navigate. And I could use the Wand Capacity. And I do have a cooldown reduction. What is the base cooldown? 0.3. I feel like that's too much of a hit to the cooldown. Um, is that true? We want to find better if I can. Oh, that one's pretty good. The cooldown's really bad, but this could do simultaneous firing. MP cost is increased. It gives you two damage. I think it's good enough to take. How much does it cost? 52. Damage went down. This tracking is the tracking I actually want. I think so. Okay, that's all of the things. We can go to three, switch wands, cool. Go back to one. I thought I got extra capacity, I did. They're being used for damage. So, if we look at the tracking, that's nice just because, ah, maybe I take that over this. It's hard to say. The problem is, I don't like having to individually control this. And I like it even less if I was using Reflection. I'm not using Reflection. Why did I think I was using Reflection? Okay, I should be using that Reflection, though. We're doing damage, 400 per shot. Over 2,000 DPS. And it's bouncing a bit. Well, no, like 200 exactly. If I put this on instead, then I don't have to aim. Why does it seem so much worse? Feels like that slowed things down. Like the casting speed. I guess I'm just building up a bunch of stones and then letting them all hit, hit at once. This feels like it's doing something different with the reflection. I guess it's just holding them tighter to this single one, so I bet the other one is doing more damage to the others. It is. It's spreading out the damage. Okay, I'm fine with that. See if there's a deal on the big shields. Big shields. 13 for 20. No, 13 for 30. So... This is where I wouldn't even pay 
13 for 30 just because I'd rather have the little bit of extra damage. But throughout the entire run, one of these is only worth like 90. Now I have two of them, so that's worth like 180 shield. I don't know how many rooms you see. Maybe you see more than 30 rooms. Whatever it's worth. I think it's difficult to say how much value it actually has. It has more with the temp shields. I'm still figuring this out. Okay, so I just got three of something. I got three of the damages. We got three of enough things. Did we just go here, spend even more money? Let's do it. Side room. Side room. This one is good. This one is good. If I could get a third damage up, that would be nice. Rock and ball. This damage should be higher. 764. We doubled the damage. The mana cost doesn't even start to drain because I cast slow. Okay. To cast quicker. Which ones am I close to? These two. This one. This one. Oh, I can reroll this. Arcane Explosion. How much money? 412. Orbit Plus. It's pretty good. God. I hate... I both love and hate getting pairs, because then I'm like, I need to keep that. Because it's a pair, and all we have to do is match it up. And we win the video game. We're really close to having a fully upgraded, uh, whatever it's called. I do kind of want to keep this one. Mana box. Mana box is worth keeping, even though I could reroll it because I don't need the mana. Later, I might need the mana. And I have other stuff. Do I have other stuff to reroll? This one. Okay. That was a good hit. So now, split is a weird one. So split. Sp five spells. Split with reflect might go crazy, and I have I have the mana for it. That's doing damage. I'm tempted to reroll this mana box, but I have the right wand where you really want that mana box. These damage pluses. I could get rid of this. But then it's going to feel so bad if I lose the game because of something stupid. So what do we have pairs of? We have pairs of everything. Except for this, which is good, and this, which might be good. For single target, I think this one's probably better. I don't know. What would I be looking for with this? More automatic navigates. I thought I had two of these. Oh, I didn't take the wand with the automatic navigate. Okay, never mind. Get the coin. 361 for money. Spellbooks or relic? I already have really good spellbooks, but it would be good to get even more, especially when I have this many that are close to matching up. And I'd like a better backup spell. Um, I think it's relic. Yeah, the damage is good. So the pit monsters could still be an issue. Which other ones could be an issue? Things that get knocked back really far. I feel like I'll kill those in like one or two shots though. I don't know. Maybe I won't. 
Refreshes purchasable items. That one is good for the devil deal. I should be using Midas. Levitate. Might matter? Could it matter? So far, it's never mattered. Forget levitate. This one? Max mana. I'm going to take max mana. Is that true? I feel like these sh shields just get wasted at some point. Okay, reforge potion is one I like a lot. All of the random potions. Grants invincibility for eight seconds. Break free. Invincibility for eight seconds. Use the Midas. Reforge spells. Statue. Oh, I'm not going to be able to split those one enemies that you can get a bunch of coins with Midas. Because they're going to die. Like, instantly. MP regen or relic options? MP regen. I have tons of mana. Yeah, those pits are a problem. But we kill the pit monsters quick. This is one where the tracking on the mouse would be better. None of these? Panic button? I do have a panic button now. I should not need to use it. But I have it. That's only for if there's something that this cannot kill. Act 4 could have enemies that the rock can't kill. I can't think of any, but it might. The damage on the ghost snake would be quite a bit lower, too. Reduce all damage by 10%. I'm only going to take this because we know we have statues, and it feels like a waste not to be using the statues. I'm going to see at least one statue between now and Act 4. Spells. Or money. Spells. Or money. All right. Those are the... So this one. It wasn't worth it when there were only like five of those. I could take some of my spells off, but I already have a... Wait! There we go. That was good enough. And we got an agility potion for movement speed. Stop hitting rocks. I used up a bone armor there. What if in this chest... There's something that drops or that doubles everything on the ground. Instead, there's big crits. Big crits is really nice. I don't have one of these. I think I should be able to blow this up quickly. I feel pretty good. Movement speed is nice. Another refresh. Grants invincibility. I should not need that. I guess if I was going to do the ghost snake, which I'm not going to do, but if I was, I would want these to be on it. Single target. Should I switch this? Probably. Cool. You are a pain. I cast so slow. These are going to split, and then it'll create a bunch of boulders. When does the reflect come? Does the reflect come? I don't like you, but we killed you with no problem. Okay. Do I want a rare upgrade? Or... Do I want regular spells? 
I think it's regular spells. We could go to a shop. The max HP, if I'm doing shield things, which it feels like I am. I still kind of want to have more max HP. Plus, we're going to see another devil deal. Probably, hopefully. If we don't, then I'm probably dying. Well, it depends how much max HP I get. If I get enough max HP, then I could live through losing all my shields. We just deleted that thing. We are deleting enemies. Okay, the Orbit Plus would be good right now because these things are staying around for a while. Just because, oh, that's another good one. Invincibility times two. <sighs> There's too many matches. Okay, this is a good one to reroll. This one I need to keep. This is a good one to reroll. This is a good one to keep. I think more than I want reflection, I want this one. But I'm not sure. Yeah, because reflection lowers damage. I'm going to reroll. Re reflection is good. This goes. This goes. Mimic Cube, I think I keep. If I get an expansion stone, that one's good. At the very least, it could go on here. This can go. This can go. Navigate. Versus tracking. I think navigate can go. Keep this. Keep this. Keep this. Keep... Th Is that smart to keep these? Two Orbit Pluses. I think it's smart to keep them. Uh, I'm gonna... I would like to find... I think this is good. Alright. So what did we get? Core of Thunder. I already do AoE damage. This one is good, though. To enemies within the effect radius. It's really good. Everything is really good. That does so much AoE damage. This one is good on here, but so is the mana box. And we got another potion. What did I get? Invinci oh, no, that's the one we already had. Cool. So this would be useful. This would be useful. Mimic cube is useful. These are useful. You're a pair. This one is useful. Wait, why am I not using that? Because I don't have space. Ah, oh, it's so good though. All of this stuff is so good. That one can go. That one can go. Okay. That double cast is really good. Multicast. I can now start to drain the mana. But I don't think I can drain the storage one's mana. And these things last so long that even though I've drained the mana, I'm still doing a ton of damage. So let's see. Can I drain the storage wand? No, not even close. Not even close. So like right now, this is a tough call. This one gets improved slightly. It does not get twice as good. This one, every improvement is equally as good as the last, except that you're picking them up later. This one would be really good. It still is really good. But I already have 115% crit rate, which tells me I could take this off and put something else on. That's good to know. What else would I put on this one or this one? Thirty percent chance. So now crit rate 95%. If I take this one, crit rate 105. If I took another of those, maybe I should have taken the shields. 
I feel like it's worth so much more to just be able to blow up the enemies instantly than it is to be able to build up more and more shields. That's my current thinking, but it changes often. I'm gonna get more spells. Did I keep that Reflect Plus? No, I re-rolled it. Huh. It's kind of questionable. I would have liked to keep that. If I get a wand with more spaces. Or an Expansion Stone. Expansion Stone's weird, though, because right now, I can hit pretty hard. So I don't really want to lower the damage. I have two durations, so that one's good. Don't I have an Umbilical? Rerolled it. Orbit. Orbit is just good. Okay. Max MP goes even higher. And it affects two wands. I could use that Reforge again, too. Look at all the bone armor we have. It's going to be so sad when I lose it all to standing next to a wall. I do have a curse. Oh, right. Didn't I want to get rid of that curse? Yeah. Build up the max, the temporary shields so that I can get rid of the curse. That's a damage reduction curse. That is a damage reduction curse. If I can find the ones that multiply my current coins, find that. So the dream is to find the one that gives 20 or 25% of your current coins and then find the ones that double whatever's on the ground. If I found those combined, we would be super set. Reduce damage. This, 269% damage. Anvil. Anvil is good right now. Anvil is good. So are spell books. Really, I'd rather go to spell books. This lets me build up my money more and we get its spells. I just want to do it. The balls can absorb projectiles. That's another reason to put orbits onto them. I do think there's a small chance if I was casting more than one spell, there's a chance that this would kill the final boss. I don't think it will as it is currently. Oh. But it could. What do we need? On this one that I'm not even using. Nothing. Um, cool. This cooldown. That cooldown would go crazy. Max HP. I do get a devil deal. What do I want? The shield one would still be good, and it costs 99 HP to take it. Even more than I want this gold. Let's make sure that I can take whatever devil deal gets offered. Wand slots are also really important. I always want to stop casting, but there's no reason to, since we have plenty of mana. I should just keep building up the spells. I don't like bringing my rocks next to the edge of those pits because some of them fall in and gets wasted. There's another immunity potion. I guess I don't even need them. I do not need them. Invincibility. Let's go see what's over here. What happens if you refresh this room? So, I have 26 shields right now. I can remove two for free. Unable to cast for five seconds. Periodically teleport. Trap steal 100%. Enemy movement speed. Enemy movement speed. I don't remember if it messes with it if you get two together. 
Max HP increased, max MP decreased. I'm not taking damage currently. I don't think damage to shields counts. So a question I have, ooh. If I take one cleanse, it would not remove this whole thing, would it? I kind of want to go find out. This one's brutal. Let's go find out. It does remove both. Curses are so good. Adamant boots. Ooh, now I could put poison on this, except poison's lame. Poison is lame. We still have three temp shields. Did that only cost 15 for some reason? Weird. Crit rate of all damage types. That's not even that bad of a curse. What do you got? This one. That could be a positive for a while. This one. Trap steal damage. To me and my non-existent summons. Are we gaining something here? Oh, I'm gaining shields. Teleports back. That one's not even that bad. I have four curses. There is an argument for building up five of them. I'm not worried about that argument, but it does exist. Okay. Coins or a shop? The shop could have a wand shop could have a wand oh. the next act the wands are so expensive they're not even worth it let's go find one good wand and an expansion stone hey look an expansion stone this is not it that is not it. MP cost is reduced, but I don't need that. What about this tracking? We already re-rolled that. Not it. Mimic cube. It's questionable. Let's take it. Not it. Not it. Ah. <sighs> What is this one? Oh, this one does damage. This one is decent. But final damage, it's really slow. I think I do switch. I do switch. I could put this onto here, but that's cheaty. We're not doing that. And it's an unmodified snake. It doesn't even matter. All we got was one extra slot, but we also got cooldown. Cooldown's worth it. Cooldown is worth it, all on its own. Now I might be able to burn through mana. Let's see. Looking at the energy storage wand. 30,000 damage. 40,000 damage. That was me building up the spell for a bit before hitting it. But it still does, like, 25,000 damage sustained. And I still have a spot open. Spot open. I could build up even more spells before I cast. That seems unnecessary. I could put an expansion stone. Expansion stone. Crit chance is not 100. But it's pretty close. Huh. For right now, I would like expansion stone on this one. You get this. You get this. You get this. Although, I think I'd rather just have more mana regen. 33. 23. I might be able to cast forever with that. Oh, I could do even more mana regen. 720, 400, but mana regen, 36 per second. It 
does not go forever. I think that means still keep this one on there. Cool. This can go here. Is that it? Speed up the snakes. I already have an orbit plus. I'm not using the snakes. All right, keep re-rolling. Keys on sale. What about my big shields on sale? Probably. Oh, that was it. Lame. Would I buy this for 12? I think so. Partly because I have this reforge potion. Good enough? Good enough. So that wand that I bought, I'm not even using it. Or no, I am using it. I took the one with the better cooldown. Right, I am using it. Spawning right on top of me, but then they die. Temporary shields are good. Another curse that would get me up to five. I do not like this one. Max MP. Enemy movement speed is boosted. Super speedy enemies. 250% increased damage. So my worry with this boss is I think it has an immunity phase and I don't want to waste my rocks during that phase. That's a small worry. I could build up a ton of rocks if I do double orbit. If I had that reflect, I would use that now. See that or else I could crit. I think this is good. I do have immunity. We can refresh the things in the devil deal to look for wand slots see oh it doesn't waste my shots when it's immune okay this thing should die quick but we can see when it's immune you better not get to erase my projectiles that would be cheating super dead so my damage is crazy I don't know how well this spell will do on the Act 4 boss, because I might, like, slam it into walls or something weird. I wonder if you need Penetrate. I don't see why you would, but maybe. Four more spells. I do have five unique curses. Five unique curses. Let's go get wand slots. Rebirth. Allows you to fly. I think I'm just re-rolling all of these. Rebirth is... What did I just do? Why? Why are you on the wand? Now would be a good time to do the reforge potion too. Um, yeah, I don't value any of these three that much. Flying is good, but it would be good earlier or more. The puzzles in the fourth act don't really require you to fly. And who cares? It's a little bit of HP. So we want this one. 45% chance. These are the two that I would like. I have 127 HP. These two cost 127 HP. I get one or the other. Do I want more damage? Or do I want lots of shields? And, like, no HP. If this was going into Act 3 instead of Act 4, I would take this one. But it's not. I'd rather have the damage. If I had one more HP, I would take this one. I do not have one more HP. I don't value this one at all. Hey, Ancient Blood. Okay. Good stuff. Should I reforge? Because I might find something good. Let's wait for right now. Okay. The scary thing about this act is there are some enemies that go immune. And there are some enemies that go over the void. The ones that turn into ghosts. The bunnies. Oh, and there's a bunch of pillars. The bunnies shouldn't be bad. Because I'll just build up projectiles until they wake up. 
I should put automatic tracking on. I got rid of it. I would like automatic tracking. Instead of this tracking. Although, this tracking's better for avoiding pillars if I play well. Which I don't. I don't value these shops too much. Unlocks all locked items in the current room with unlimited keys. Let's go. Still, it can refresh into more potions. Damage is not an issue, but running into walls is. Yeah, I think I do need the manual targeting. This is good. Tracking. Relic. Yeah, so the bunnies should not be a problem. Because I can just walk over towards them. That thing could be a problem. The pillars and the walls are actually my biggest problem. I don't know if I lose these shields if I get next to the walls or the pillars. Healing belt, we just want big damage. So, I can use up this one. Shop. No shop, big damage. Yeah, in this act, in particular, I think that the one that can eat enemy projectiles is strong. Because their projectiles do some damage. I think Guardian Sprite is really good. Increase cast interval. I don't think I need a sixth. Oh, I already have six curses. I don't think I need that one. I don't see a good reason to take it. I'm actually just gonna drink this, even though I could get another relic. There was a chance I found a useful potion, which I did. Cool. And this one's just annoying to drink. Was there something down here? No. Okay, more relics. So, good news is, these things do not get knocked back into the void, but that big one does. That was one of my fears. Okay, we killed it before it went too far back. I have six temporary shields. So this one, I think it's better than this snap. Dodge could be good too. I'm gonna take this one. Damage plus. I already got two of them. I thought I had a poison. I must have rerolled it. I do not have an umbilical. They're both fine. Oh, I can't be poisoned anymore. So the poison's slightly better, but I'm not going to use either of them. All right. We could refresh these. I'm about to go to an anvil. Let's go to the anvil. Come over here. Yes, yes. I got three of these. Let's go. So now, this one gets kept for sure. Could look for Orbit Plus. This needs to be rerolled. This needs to be rerolled. I have two of these, but. I don't really want to look for a third of those. I have two of these. Crit's not maxed, but it will be once I get rid of the curse. I don't really need the next level of this one. 
Which ones have pears? That one's a pear. This one's a pear and it's useful. Mimic is useful. I think I have to keep the snake. This can go. This can go. This can go. Cooldown is pretty useful and it's a pear. These are useful. Mana box could be useful. So it's mainly... Do I get rid of these? Trying to match up with this. What else would I be trying to match up with? Oh, I don't need this. I feel like that's good enough. Reforge. All of these suck. Resets one chosen relic. We could reset this one. That's a rare. Prospector's Vest is really good. This key one. I think I'm going to reset the key one. The keys are nice, and I might not have enough keys, but being able to roll into an epic is nice. Let's do it. Bam! It was so good. All right, I have two slots available. I have double orbits on here. We could put a damage. What else? Reroll these four. 639. Cooldown would be nice. It's not really what I want, but I'll reroll this one before that one just in case. Damage up is what I want. Folly plus. Area up does not work. Why does the game hate me? There were pillars there. Why does the game hate me? That would be a good one to hit. Maybe the game doesn't hate me. So, big damage, big crits. Okay, big crits. 125%, even taking this off. 105, even with the curse. Big crits. So now this can be rerolled. This can go here. Second split eats through mana. God, the knock, the knockback. 77,000 damage. I can get the damage higher. I have to let my mana recharge. Right, we have room for more mana. If I could upgrade this flower, that would help a bit. Or get more boxes. I do have another box. So if I want to do maximum damage, the boxes are the way to do it. 756. And I kind of just want to see what big damage looks like. 1092. So we have double orbit. These are going to live for a long time. Anything else I would change? I mean, I do need to keep re-rolling, but I just want to see what things look like. So we're looking at the energy storage wand. Once it's out, it's out. Then we slam these in. 100,000? Over 101, 103, 104? 104,000 DPS. That's the highest I've gotten the training dummies so far. I mean, it's not super practical, but it's fun. It is fun. Give me back the flowers, I think. Cool. Super cooldown. Super cooldown would be nice. To get super cooldown, we need... How many rerolls do I have left? I could use improved tracking, too. I think it's normal spell first. Orbit. Huh. Why do I have another rock and ball? Because I rolled into it randomly. I would still like to go to another of these. So 
The double splits are a little bit questionable. But yeah, they put out a lot of damage really quick. They just drain my mana fast too. But we can get to 50,000. We can get to almost 60,000 very, very fast. Shop. At a shop, I could find forced cooldown. I could find a mimic. We're good. We're good? I think we're good. I could. Why don't I mimic this expansion stone? That's a good question. That is a good question. So now I could get the damage even higher. Let's do it. I just want to see how high I can get the number. The answer is... That was not as high. Why was that not as high? I think I ran a bunch of them into this one. I don't know. Okay. We saw it at 100,000. 276% increase. Just break everything with the stones. If they're doing this much damage, they should be able to take out any pillars, including undestructible ones. I do want to see how they do against the Act 4 boss. We might just melt it. Relic Potion. Randomly upgrades. One relic. This is a good test. Let's go over here. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What did we just upgrade? I gained a bunch of shields for some reason. What did we upgrade? It f felt like I gained shields. I don't know what I upgraded. This one? Max HP. That's probably it. Body size. That one's pretty bad. So the first couple rolls of this are very cheap. What if I got damage plus plus? Or a chest. Thank you. Oh, my keys are no longer free. I'm already down to five. Roll it again. Oh, it's no longer damage plus plus. Money? Five money? That's extra damage. One more roll. One more roll. I'm going to stop. I do have a lot of max HP though. I could just convert everything. I thought that was a curse. Okay. That one's not even good. It could be good. It could. It's not. Okay. Anything else? That's it? I think that's it. Goodbye. I could have killed it quicker than that. I just wanted to be able to one-shot it. Guaranteed. Alright. Lots of rares. Lots of rares. Sword of Judgment. Black Hole Plus. Wand Spirit. I don't know if I've had this before. I'm pretty sure I've had this. They're all rares. Anvil. I don't like giving up my damage, but the anvil's huge. It's so good. Anvil is the best room I could have gone to right now. So many times twos. All right, what are we looking for? We are looking for stuff. Mimic Cube Plus. That would be one that I was looking for. For what? For the damage. I could just mimic this big mana reservoir. It's kind of worth it. 1092. 1428. I think it's better just to get the damage. 897. We see how much damage this thing does. One spirit plus. Oh. That charge up. Two of these. 
Do I even want the level 3 of this one? Not too much, but I have other stuff to reroll. Okay. 568. Spell effect radius does nothing for me. Crits do nothing for me. That one does a bit. Huh. I don't know if it's worth combining them up. Especially since, really, I could use another Mimic on the Expansion Stone. I kind of like them being separate. It's hard to say. Is there any chance that I can't kill this boss with my normal attack? Because I would like to reroll this. This is stupid. This could lose me the game, but let's just assume I can hit it with Rock and Ball. Okay, we still have High Pressure Stream, which does big damage. Kind of. It's not that much damage. All right. Make more space. We'll find another mana box, maybe, or another of these. I only had two on here anyways, so it's the same thing. The third was just sitting up here. This one is questionable. I guess I ran out of rerolls anyways. I do have invulnerability potions. Oh right, I have to remove curses, so keep my temporary shields up. Which I try to do anyways, but now I especially want to. Temporarily, this one's good. Well, it's kind of overkill. Level 4 is kind of overkill. Spells can penetrate walls. I think I have to take that. It doesn't work! It does work. But they go over the cliff still. I think maybe that was correct to take. I don't know. What do these do? None of these matter, right? This one does not matter because I already do big crits. Okay, this room is easy. The only tricky thing is... They always make it tricky. They put one that looks obvious. So in this one, it's this teal. The orange has to come... Yeah, if the orange goes like this, it can't connect to the purple. I think it's the teal. So what was I thinking it is with the teal? No, the teal has to connect teal to teal. There's no other way. Is there another way? No. It feels like they do tricky things. The green feels like it has to go green to green. Am I just wrong and they didn't do anything tricky? If we go orange to orange, then purple can't go purple to purple. If we go... There's no way that it was this red. How do we get purple? I think purple's the tricky one. Does orange have to go all the way up? Then blue can't connect. Orange is weird. Okay, I think orange has to go. No. Stop. If orange goes like this, it cuts off purple. Orange has to go cut off green it would cut off blue there's something very tricky going on I know there is so this purple fuchsia this fuchsia if we did that how would I get orange to connect 
and still be able to get blue to connect. Orange is the problem. Orange is the problem. What are the ways orange can connect? It can come around and go through. That separates these. No matter what, it feels like orange is separating blue or purple. Is that true? No, I see it. Wow, yeah, that one's a little bit tricky in my mind. Orange has to come... No, because that separates green. That separates green and it separates teal. Oh, got it. Orange, no, that separates blue. Oh, that's so sneaky. You have to put a bunch of the close ones just next to each other. It wasn't as sneaky as I thought. I was overcomplicating it, but orange was the tough one. But I was still overcomplicating it. Okay. <laughs> Energy saver plus plus, which does nothing for me. Cool. I guess it could. Energy saver plus plus could do a bit. If I took off one of these splits, actually, then I think I could cast for a long time. That might be worth it. I'm not sure. I think it's strong either way. These curses do not matter. Okay. Still remove them when it only costs 10. But don't do it when they cost more. There's going to be one of those big enemies, probably. Yep, right there. So we want to kill that quickly. I surrounded it. The totems are not the problem that I thought they were going to be. I wonder if the shielded enemies absorb these shots. They probably do. Reflection is back. But... I'm closer to having matches. I would have a match with this. Orbit. I already have one. And I'm not really trying to get a rare. I already have a rare to reroll. Refresh potion. Um, generate shields equal to lost HP. Cool. Locksmith potion actually could be useful. I don't think it will be, but it could be. Just drink it. It's worth like one key, maybe two. Relic. Ghost bunnies. Right, keep casting. These pillars do not... Right, I can go through walls now. It was good. Ghost bunnies die. All I have to do is walk near the ghost bunnies with my projectiles and kill those totems. Another totem? I don't know. If there was, it died quickly. Big ghost bunny. It's kind of funny to me that my highest damage run, probably two of them, the magic bullet was doing some damage too is when I just focus on a single spell instead of trying to do craziness. Because it gets you to like really think about which things work with the spell. Recoil. Recoil is actually brutal. I don't want recoil. Out of everything. It's one of the bad ones. Right now, recoil isn't too bad. These things are a pain. Did you see? My guardian sprites just protected me so much. Seed of Greed. Right when I pick up coins, Seed of Greed gets stuff. Seed of Greed is doing things. 50 out of 50. It's done doing things. More money. Oh, don't you worry, clock hand. I will take these out quickly. Chest down at the bottom.
down to four keys. Relics. Oh, I hate these enemies. They require me to pay attention, which I'm not good at doing. See, pay attention. I want to look at the enemies, but I also want to look at where the laser paths are going. Three keys. Run these off the edge. Permanently increase or de- Wait, go check the relic first. Just in case. Reduces indiscriminate damage. Chance to refresh. We're right at the end. Just give me visibility. I could refresh the shop one extra time. Just give me the HP. See, I don't think shields matter as much if I can just delete enemies. Maybe they will. Boss time. Feeling pretty good going into this boss. Randomly removed. One curse. Let's do it. Wait, I thought I picked that up before it zoomed me. All right. Wait. A place to spend a key. Oh, God. Unable to cast for five seconds. That's rough. Decreases HP by four each time a potion is used. Damage dealt. Increases cooldown. Cooldown. Lose one coin upon entering a door. Relic option. Could take some of these. I don't think I'm going to. I just want to do maximum damage to this thing. Very quickly. Single target. With single target, do I still keep these? Core of Thunder. I think so. Oh, what about charge up? No. This one would do some damage right now. 514. Duration times 36. It's going up by 30% per or er, 30% per second. Oh, duration's only 12 seconds. I still think it goes pretty high. Okay. What about split? I do kind of think split would get me the damage quicker than Core of Thunder. Not sure. Extra mana. Find out if we can hit this thing. Oh, we can. We can. Cool. <laughs> what if wands? I get my long neck. Save the image. This one makes me happy for some reason. Confirm. Rock and ball is completely broken. Completely broken. A thing that I've learned. Putting completely broken, holy final damage, MP cost, crit rate, in your titles for YouTube. MP regen for all ones. Oh no, that one's also very good. They're both very good. Um, it gets way more clicks, like crazy amounts of clicks. I think, I don't know, it's hard to say. It seems like it does. But... Sometimes in this game, things really are broken. We can get that one back. Refreshes purchasable items. I still have two keys. Bam. Don't I already have this? Wait. Did I lose a random relic? I swear I had this. I am so con Oh, I couldn't afford it. It cost 99. Got it. Come back once is good. We'll take that. I don't need the shield one right before going into the final fight. Um, 
So yeah, I was gonna switch. We got power traction. Which, against five enemies, power traction is good. I have space for one more. It could be energy saver. Mana cost times 40%. If I did energy saver, that's not the right spell. Yeah, to cast quick too. Wonder how much damage this is doing. Quite a bit. start causing lag. Um, the thing is, these will be getting used up in the real fight. They hit hard, 13,000 some. Would I change anything? Mimic Cube Plus. I feel like I should be using this split, but I'm not sure. I think this is good. I don't think it's gonna kill. Invincibility. But I think you could kill using this spell, probably. I think you could kill. You guys chill for a second. Splay enemy HP bars. Maybe that's actually helpful for this one fight. Okay. Congratulations, hero. You've reached the deepest part of this version. Chapter 5 and beyond are currently under development. Thank you for your support. Alright. Do I want more regen? I feel like I do. Because we're trying to have this be an extended fight. These cooldowns could also go wild. I wonder if it's cooldown over orbit. Nah. Because I can already drain all the mana. Okay, start waking them. Holy damage! But they absorb all of the balls, and now I'm out of mana. Trying to get this mana potion. Oh, we got more potions. Levitation does not help. Locksmith does not help. But what if they give me other potions? I get to be reborn once. While I wasn't casting there, we were still filling up mana, so... <laughs> reborn once. That! Almost just straight up kills them, and I had enough HP and shields. We killed one! This one's gotta be weak. We have killed one. You could definitely get that spell to be strong enough to just like one shot them. That was pretty awesome. Definitely the highest damage that I have reached. We have 18 of these brains now. We're going to be ready when the next thing comes out. Still, don't have much of this, though. That was a fun run. All right. If you enjoy this, consider subscribing. We're already up to 2739. You guys are awesome. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.